welcome race fans to NAGP TV. We are live on our final race of the season, GTR1. A close battle we've seen going on between the teams and the drivers all season is going to come to a conclusion tonight. Hold on to your hats. We've got three hours of racing. Teams and drivers of cars are out on the track for their warm-up. And we're going to take a few minutes and run down a little bit of news that's been going on since then. Last week's race saw Tiago Canola. He was the most consistent driver last week. He started on the pole and took it to a pole to finish in the qualifying event, which sets the record for tonight's. Warm up 
is done. And we'll be watching for them to set the grid. And the start of NAGV Thursday night finale. A little bit of housekeeping here, folks, in and around the garage. If you're interested in joining us, we'll be starting up a new season soon. With races Monday night, Thursday night, and uh, this Saturday is the start of our NAGP Champ Car Series. The guys are talking this up. They're enjoying it. They're having lots of fun with it. And we're getting set to go. we got a couple of minutes. Last minute changes there. Conditions are damp. This might throw a wrench into everybody's setups and tire selections. This is going to be very interesting, folks. 14 degrees Celsius and a damp track. It's going to make things very interesting in this interlocutor's course. Racing. You can get in on Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Contact an administrator, send them a PM through the website, and hook yourself up, get in the draft, pick a car, hook up with a teammate, and enjoy racing. We've got racing three times a week, so there's something for everybody here, folks. This race is going to be three hours with a maximum of 129 laps. It's going to be a long one. We've got some of the drivers carrying some ballast. Brad Maris is carrying 20 kilograms. Marty Uren has got 30 kilograms. Werner's got 40 kilograms. And David Poulton's got 40 Ks. 14 seconds to race time. Got a little better get out on the track. on the outside. Looks like he's turned taken. Sportelli. Andrew Werner in six. Prado seven. Red Bears eight. Canavan nine. Rick Myers in ten. David Poole in eleven. Moth in twelve. Marty Uran and the Kunasig thirteen. Connie, 14. Christian Hamilton in 15th. Salem Montgomery Jr. in 16th. Andres Cole in 17. Paul Hall in the Mad Croc in 18. Being pressured by Rich Roper. Rich takes him on the inside. And loses it right away. Johnny Mack. Oh, we have contact back in the field there. It looks like we have also got a frozen car on the track. Sam Rolf in 21. 22 is one one roller. Solberger in 23. Rally in 24th. Douglas in 25th. It's Roman in 26. And Lauren Feisman in 27. Chuck Carter looks like he got caught up in that uh, melee back there. In 28th. Back out in front. You're a race leader. Tiago Canola. Gap there. Looks like he's got that Ford GT hooked up again, folks. Alex White in second. With 
Aaron Parsons. And behind Alex White, on board now by Aaron Parsons. Sideways, collecting up a couple of cars, and they're all backed up there. Managed to keep it going, but I'm sure he's collected some damage out of that. Steve Kager, Rich Roman. Oh, and Kager is off into the into the dirt. David Rally, we got Douglas Roll involved in that one. Chuck Carter struggling back in 28th. And Steve's getting his car back on the track. Looks like he has got a bunch of damage on that car, and I'm be surprised if he's going to have to get it into the pits and get some repairs done. Chuck Carter back off again. He must have collected up some, some damage as well for him to lose control. He's struggling to get it back onto the track and get himself back into the pits. Tiago Canola. Back out with your team leader, your race leader. Boy, this guy is smooth and a fast driver. Tiago Hills out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. One of my favorite drivers here in the NHGP. Picked him to win last week's race. Haven't didn't pick a winner for this week, but it is going to be no surprise that if they let him stretch his legs out, which it sure looks like he is now. 
He is going to be very hard to catch. He was one of the most consistent drivers last Monday night, uh, turning consistent 127s. Let's see how he's going to finish up this lap now. New fastest lap, 128, must be drying up out there. Alex White, out of Scotland. Like I said, fairly new to us here, new to me at least. Relative unknown to me. I'm just amazed me at how fast this guy can be. Badgers asked, who is driving the Salines? I'll try to get you that info real quick here. Two Celine teams, actually, I believe. HEC Racing with Celine S7R with Rich Roman and Andre Cole. And the other Celine, I believe, is being driven by. Nope, that's it. John Sportelli up to third. Taking that spot away from.
Andre Prado. All over the back of him. Let's go on. Broadcaster here at NAGP. Seventh place, hang in there, Brad. David Poole, another very fast and talented driver for us. No surprise that uh, David's done very well, especially with that McLaren. Quick driver, great master of this. Sportelli on the inside of Canavan. Canavan holding his line. Canavan on the inside, trying to take it away from him. And Canavan hangs on his position. A uh, masterful bit of defensive driving by David Canavan. Puts Sportelli down into fifth. And Sportelli is going to be going back after Canavan. You can bet that. On board now, John Sportelli. Sportelli is going to be a thorn in 
in the side of the Irishman David Canavan tonight.
Sam's racing out of Tucson, Arizona. Hot down there this year. Hot out there tonight on the track, too. David Rowley. Rowley back in P22 right now. And Salem Montgomery Jr. has slipped back to P23. Governor Douglas in P24. And Paul Hall in 25th. Steve Kager. Steve Kager is back in P26, but it looks like... Steve's had some issues. Looks like he's got uh, damage on the front and the right front of that car. He was involved in a little bit of a off and collected up a few cars here in a half spin.
outside. And he takes him on the second half of that left ring combination there. Alex White in the deal. Marty Uren, our senior statesman driver, driving out of California. Shout out there to Robert. Robert, thanks for joining us tonight. I hope you're enjoying the action here. We're trying to give everybody a little bit of air time here. We've got three hours. So we're going to get their moment of glory. If there's anybody you want us to pay special attention to, just throw it up there on the chat board. Great to see you. Just for you other viewers out there, Robert's instrumental with our Saturday League and uh, various work commitments which has taken away from the Saturday League and Mr. Marty Red has taken the reins and got his champ car series up and running. But uh, thanks for all the work you put in there, Robert. We really appreciate it. We've got Marco Connie in sight, and this is going to make an interesting three way battle. the inside. But Greg stretches the legs out on that Ferrari and keeps it motoring through. Alex White is going to have his trouble getting by these two. I think Alex has pace on both these drivers. This could go on for two and a half more hours. These guys are going 
tonight for, for Greg Myers and Alex White. Had a little bit of a bobble there. But it's really on the track. This is some great racing for us. In past the start finish. Mr. Warner. 
corner there, keep everybody honest, and make this a race to the end. Boy, these teams have been uh, fighting it out all season. Uh, this is just a great, great competition. As you can see, there's lots of racing all the way through the field. Brad Maris got him in his sights. by side. Pit limiters are on though. Fredo's coming out ahead. Fredo in and out. Ahead of Canola. And some lap traffic in between. This is going to make this very interesting. He's made the jump in the pits. Tiago got some lap traffic in between. I'm sure, yes, traffic is graciously let him go by. And that is going to put Grado in the Cotinola sights.
look a little slower than they were last out on the track. into P12. 
and Werner in P13. I do think that Cup has yet to take a fuel and pit stop, so we'll look for that position to sort itself out. Johnny Mack into P14. John McIntyre being called by, it looks like Mark O'Connor.
side. Not quite enough. Stretches it out on the straightaway there with the big fort. A little bit of a slide. Oh, 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 and there goes Pole. Pole is off. And that lets Moses into six. And they almost got it going again. Let's just check in and see if he sustained any damage to Looks okay, David. That has put a gap between Poole and Maris, which is for that team championship. Now Chris Moses has got Maris in his sights. And on your leaderboard, we've got Prado out in front by about two and a half or three seconds. Oh, my goodness, something is wacky there. About two and a half seconds over Tiago Canola and Canavan. About 30 seconds back there. We're going up to the front to see what is going on there.
Chris Moses. Mr. Parsons who had some unfortunate turnaround in the beginning of the race there is up to P7 and he is ahead of David Poole. And this is the battle for the Drivers' Championship right here. Poole and Parsons. And Parsons has got by him. And if he can hang on to this, this will be the championship. This is the championship race.
is Canola. Busting his way through. Boy, that guy has got some serious speed.
and he is smoking heavily now.
back up front with your race leader, Andre Prado. And there's Slippery, Tiago Canola. In D2, still got him in sight. I wouldn't be surprised if Tiago's going to pull the stops out here and on this final. The change. Dolph stints his tires to get out in front. If he gets out in front, it's going to be hard to pass. Not much time between these two cars. And a lot of racing left to go. D3, David Canavan. Portelli, Aaron Parsons in P5 coming up with some lap traffic, and away goes Wilson. Brad Maris, P6. Rich Roman, P7. Greg Myers up to P8 now. gotten by Marty Aaron. What's happened to David Rally? We got Solberger in P13. Rally. Rally must have had an off there and got a P14. I'm sorry we missed that. And it looks like he has taken some damage there. Let's just get up and take a quick look at his car. Oh, it looks like he up to me. In fact, he has had a big... The roof is caved in, folks. He has got right side damage, left side damage, and the roof is caved in. David, you must have had a heck of an accident to pull that one off. Brad 
pits. in the pits. Oh! And that might be it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! It looks like it just got, the drivers are coming in and trying to stay out of the way. Canola in the pits. Bredo in the pits. Condi is moving. first. Alex 
flight. I think Alex is parked it for the night. Marty's parked it for the night. Steve Kager. your race leader, Andre Pareto. Coming up to Paul Hall in the back of the Corvette. Some lap traffic. Let's make sure he gets by cleanly. Pareto on the inside. Hall to the outside and let him through. in the pits. Greg was in around the P9, P10 position, so let's see if he can hang on to that as he rolls out of this pit rotation. Side, and he takes him on the inside, a beautiful 
pass by Christian Hamilton. And it looks like he might be able to hang on to it, and he does. Thank you, Mr. Hamilton. A uh, nice pass for the cameras.
Brad Maris running in P6. And we're trolling behind him. Greg Myers hanging on to the P8. Andrew Werner in the P9. Lauren Weisman in P10. And Chris Moses running Lauren down. This crash jump on board. And see how Chris is going to handle Lauren.
at it all night long. Juan Monroy at P-15. Christian Hamilton, P-16. Cup Douglas, P-17. Moses got 